Hello friends. Today I will tell you. Best 8 Amazing Naturally Ayurveda Kanta Inflammation Herbs. So let's get start. Please watch this video till end. Number 1. Ginger. Ginger is a root that many people take daily to improve digestion. Ginger's medicinal properties are far-reaching and can help everything from joint pain to stomach problems. Number 2. Gugul. Traditionally, gugul is used for detoxification in Ayurveda. The resin that the gugul tree secretes slowers cholesterol and reduces inflammation as well as many commercial medications such as ibuprofen. Gugul can also help to relieve the pain caused by rheumatism and fibromyalgia. You can find gugul in its raw form as a resin or a gum. It also comes in pill form or as a powder but be sure that you consult your physician or a herbalist before using. Number 3. Ashwagandha. This natural anti-inflammatory herb has been found to have amazing adaptogenic properties. Clinical studies have revealed that ashwagandha helps to relieve pain of the rheumatoid arthritis. It has higher levels of steroidal content than even that of hydrocortisone but is safer because of the lack of side effects which can cause depression of the immune system. Number 4. Boswellia. Boswellia is an anti-inflammatory herb known as sala or Indian frankincense. Traditionally, it is used for the treatment of digestive symptoms, respiratory problems, and arthritis. Boswellic acids have also been found to inhibit the formation of enzymes which often cause inflammatory disorders including ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis and bronchial asthma. Number 5. Neem Oil This natural anti-inflammatory herb oil is derived from the neem tree, which is often called the divine tree. In Ayurvedic medicine, neem oil is used to treat inflammatory skin conditions muscle aches, and painful joints. All parts of the neem tree are beneficial. In India, the flowers and shoots of the neem tree serve as vegetables, whereas the leaves are often used as a spice. Many people also use neem oil to control pests that destroy plants. It may also be applied topically for treating skin irritations. Note: Pregnant women or those looking to become pregnant should avoid taking neem. Number 6. Poli Basil. Poli Basil, Tulsi, is native to India. In Ayurveda, this anti inflammatory herb is traditionally used in cooking and as medication for treating sore throat, flu, and cold. Poli Basil has been found to have antioxidant, anti inflammatory, and various other medicinal properties which can be used to treat radiation poisoning, chemotherapy peptic ulcers, high cholesterol, diabetes, and arthritis. Number 7. Turmeric. This powerful herb root can be used for inflammation throughout the entire body. Turmeric has recently been studied in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. A recent research study has revealed that it can be more effective than taking anti-inflammatory drugs and SADs or rheumatoid drugs for pain relief. Number 8. Golden Milk. Golden Milk is quite good for the spine and helps in joint lubrication. Yogi Bhajan's Golden Milk Recipe. 1 cup of milk or almond milk. 1 half cup water. Honey, to taste. 1 to 2 tablespoons of almond oil, optional. 1 8 teaspoon turmeric. In a small saucepan. Boil the water and turmeric for 8 minutes over medium-high heat, the turmeric needs to be fully cooked. In the meantime, bring the almond oil and milk to boiling point in a separate pan and remove from heat. Merge the two mixtures then add honey to taste. For even more deliciousness, add a small amount of nutmeg. If you are trying to find a more natural approach to fighting inflammation and reducing pain, you can try using some of these ancient Ayurveda remedies or Ayurveda Kanti inflammation herbs to minimize the dangerous side effects of prescription or over-the-counter pain relievers. Stop causing more damage to your body and start healing today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel for more health, 
beauty and home remedies tips. Bye bye. Take care.